artists park their cars in small compact spaces. <laughs> I know, lame. But anyway, so as you can see, I changed my background because people were complaining and saying that the green was distracting and detracting from the makeup. So as you can see, I know it's wrinkly. I know, I get it. It's a bed sheet. I think it's a suit my mom got from Pakistan. Okay, people, well, thank you for joining me once again today. It's always great to see you. And we are going to be doing a pink lip. I'm going to show you how to make sure that it stays on for a longer period of time. When sometime hits, I am going to be doing some tutorials outside as well because what is really nice. And I would like to be sitting in my garden, sipping on some tea, and uh, there, there goes the backdrop, so just give me a second. So here's the sunscreen. Apply it in an upwards motion. Then you want to take a concealer, shake it up real good, pat that under the eye, really nice and gentle. And then you can take your foundation. I'm using Smashbox, blending it into my skin really nicely. Especially you, because you're looking real drab, girl. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Looking real drab. Go ahead, continue blending that in, and then you want to set it in with some powder. Can we see it, please? I can't see it. Yes, thank you. Okay, so it's a nice loose mineral powder. You want to go ahead and set that in with your powder brush. Be aware of the powder brush. It is so relaxing. It's like a little massage to your face. You can easily fall asleep while doing your makeup, so be careful. And there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So I've been asked to do a tutorial on basically my everyday look and this is what it's composed of. A nice neutral shade all over the lid. So this is a nice beige for all over the lid space. Can we see the brush please? Yeah, okay, thanks. So as you can see it's a nice short dense bristle brush attitude. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of this white shadow, apply it on the inner corners of my eyes and right below my brows as well. And what the white shadow does is it opens up the eyes and makes you look a little less tired. Then you just want to apply some liquid eyeliner, uh, wing it out at the corners. I like to wing it out a little bit just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. So you know what I just realized? I don't really like the sparkles that's uh, in this shadow, so I'm just going to take my bronzer and apply that to my lid space, and that's just going to give me a nice matte finish. So go ahead and take whatever it is that you use as your powder and apply that to your lids as your shadow. You can also apply a base underneath. Now I'm just going to add a lash primer. I don't always do this, but it'll just add a little bit more fullness and length to my lashes. Just run your mascara right through that, and then you're going to take your lash curler and just get really close to your lash line. Make sure you don't clamp your skin in there. <gasps> Just kidding. <laughs> but anyways, make sure you curl both your lashes properly. So anyways, now you're going to take your eyeliner after you've curled your lashes. Make sure you apply it to the outer corners of your eyes. This is going to make your eyes look bigger. If you do have close-set eyes, this is a great way of making your eyes look bigger. Okay, then you want to take your bronzer and open. Yeah, thanks. Swirl. Okay, let's move this along a little bit faster, okay? Tap and add that to the apples of your cheeks. Perfect. There we go. Okay, fill in your brows. I like to use a brown and a black in combination because I like nice, strong brows. You know how I feel about eyebrows. Now here's the secret to the lip. Long lasting, add concealer to those lips. They should fall on crack. Okay, now bright pink lip liner. Sharpen it really good because you want a nice point to it. And then you're just gonna outline your lips. You can also just place dots all around your mouth. So one, two, three, as I've done to the top and just connect the dots if you find that easier when you're doing your lip liner. And then fill it in with the same color. Now you can leave it like that, or I like to add a little bit of moisture, so I'm going to add this pink lipstick right over top, tapping it on. The next ingredient to the long-lasting lips is this concealer pencil. Outline your lips with this, and this is going to make sure your lips don't bleed. I'm not talking about actual blood, I'm talking about your lipstick bleeding out. God, learn your makeup terminology. Okay, and then next we're going to take this thing, um, it's, like a, it's like a brush for your lips. I don't know what you call it anyways, so you're just going to go ahead and blend it out. Chokey, thanks for watching. So I'm gonna just show you something that Nair Canada sent me. Nair Canada has just sent over a box of some goodies and I will be reviewing these. I am gonna show you what they are next week with a new tutorial. You're gonna have to wait and find out until next week. All right, and there you have it. So I'm also looking for a volunteer for the Nair tutorial for next week. If you are a hairy male or female, leave me a message. Doot.